Hi, welcome to Vocabulary Wednesday, and I am Chris with Magoosh. Today's theme, science words. So I'm not choosing words that are really technical, that you know you find on the back of an ingredients label to a Tylenol bottle, but actually science words that have meaning, generally speaking, because those are the words that the SAT, oops, actually the GRE and the SAT, but the GRE, both of them, really like. Well, let me give you an example. If there's a chemical that's caustic, it corrodes you, or corrodes a surface, corrodes your skin, it's like acid. Oftentimes when you have these industrial strength cleaners, you'll notice people put on rubber gloves so that their skin doesn't melt off. Now, we're using this in a different context on the GRE. Think of someone's comments or someone's reaction, their behavior, their demeanor is caustic. That means that they are really nasty and biting. So a caustic comment or remark really gets under your skin because the person saying it wants to be as nasty as possible. So people are hurling caustic criticism at you. Ignore them because you're better than anything caustic they say. Now we have our next word, paradigm. It's an interesting word. Two definitions which are closely related. The first definition is a standard, a set model, typical example of something. So for instance, on these old GRE, in fact, on most of these old st standardized tests, the paradigm was to have verbal, but on the verbal questions to always have these analogies, these annoying analogies. And so if you were taking a standardized test, whether it was the SAT, the GRE, or even any of these tests that they have for IQ or for Army, that's you would have to deal with horrible analogies. That was the paradigm. That has shifted. Thankfully, recently, I suppose, I mean, if you like analogies, maybe not, but of course, the latest GRE, there are no analogies. And so in a sense, there has been a paradigm shift. And that's the second definition of paradigm. Again, it's closely related, but it's the way we see the world, the way we view things. So those who write these standardized tests no longer see analogies as representative, really, of one's ability to function in graduate school or at higher level education. Another example of a paradigm shift, again, a change in viewpoints, a change in the way we see the world. Only 20 years ago, if we had to make a telephone call, while we were out, while we were out about in public, the first thing that come to our mind would be a phone booth. We'd have to go in there, and we'd have to drop in 20 cents, make our phone call. Of course, today, that's absurd. Where are our pay phones? They're nowhere, because all you have to do is whip out a cell phone. So it's been kind of a paradigm shift in the way that we communicate, and we no longer use 20 cents to do so, or a paradigms. <laughs> okay, next word, fun word, cathartic. Cathartic's literal definition is something that purges you, meaning that if you know you've been a little bit mm, and you can't mm, well, then you need a catharsis, or you need a cathartic, which is a medicine that would relieve you and purge you, would make you feel very light. I won't elaborate beyond that. But in a more general sense, Something that's cathartic is takes the emotional baggage, all your psychological hang-ups, and lets you just kind of spill it out, pour it out, make you feel good and no longer filled with anxieties and hang-ups. So, for instance, often a week spent up in nature, hiking, camping, can be very cathartic because all of the stress you have from the week just kind of falls away. So, again, to have this emotional cleansing or purification, that's the definition of it. A catharsis and the adjective form is cathartic. So those are both important words to know. Finally, we have scintillating. Scintillating is a fun word. It means giving off sparks, like when photons collide. Ooh, sparks, but we don't care about photons on the GRE, unless it's in a critical or a reading comprehension passage. But scintillating more generally means giving off sparks, flashing, and brilliant. The key is brilliant. If you see a scintillating performance, if a singer just dazzles the stage, scintillating. If you're sitting next to a really intelligent person talking maybe about astrophysics and you're just like, wow, the brain is just giving off sparks, scintillating. That's the meaning of the word. And whew, I'm becoming a little scintillating right now. I will see you next week for the next installment of OCAM Wednesdays. In the meantime, check us out, jerry.boosh.com.